Welcome to this SIGO technical training demonstration. This demonstration will provide an introduction to the command line interface, or CLI, of the SIGO I.O. director. The CLI is very simple and helpful, however there are literally hundreds of commands and options. This demonstration will provide the basic skills needed to execute configuration and management commands on the SIGO I.O. director. This session assumes the management port of the SIGO I.O. director has been configured. There is an online training session that describes initial setup if you need to review that procedure. First, we will connect to the SIGO I.O. director using SSH. Provide a username and password to access the CLI. We will use the default username of admin and the default password of admin. Then let's talk about all the help that the CLI can provide. Of course, the help command is available to get started. I will show you context sensitive help using the question mark and command completion using the tab key in sample commands in a moment. The command help getting started will lead us to where we want to go. There are four basic commands that manipulate the configuration database on the Seago IO director. They are add, remove, set, and show. Those four commands will allow you to complete any configuration process on the chassis. Let's complete some sample commands to demonstrate the use of the CLI. We will start with the show command and use context sensitive help and command completion all along the way. One side note. It is best if you can increase the size of the window you are using to run CLI commands. The output will display in table form that is much easier to read if there are enough columns in the display. Say you want to add a VNIC, but you can't remember the name of the server profile you want to use. Use the show command to see the server profiles that are already configured. Choose the server profile that is associated with the physical server that will get the new VNIC. In this example, we will use the server profile test A. Now to add the VNIC. Start with the add command and use the question mark to see what's next. In this case, we see all the objects we can add. Choose VNIC and use the question mark again to see the next step. A VNIC name is required at this point in the command. Provide a VNIC name and the server profile name separated by a dot. That notation is consistent for all virtual interfaces. Virtual interface name dot server profile name. Keep using the question mark to help you continue to build this command. A termination point for this virtual interface is required next. All physical ports on the chassis are denoted slot number slash port number. Choose the port and type the question mark one more time. Now we see only HA and optional settings that can be applied to this VNIC. See the product documentation for a complete discussion of all the variables that can be applied to virtual interfaces. Press enter to complete the command. We can view the results by using the show command. Remember to use the question mark and tab completion often to help you use the CLI on the SIGO I.O. director. Finally, I would like to show you a few more commands that may be useful from time to time. First, let's look at the system commands available. Common functions here include upgrade and export. Look for other online training sessions describing those two functions. Next, let's look at the system settings. Common functions here include reconfiguration of the management interface and resetting other system configuration variables. That completes this tour of the command line interface. Thanks for watching.